Well, hello, hello, welcome to the Wrenching Irons. Today we are going to figure out this multicolored mess of cables and um, get this bike ready to road. Let's do this. I have discovered yesterday night that um, I have deceived myself with uh, new technology on old motorcycles. You see, when I wired my 1970, they are very unceremoniously under the blankets, but 1972, uh, 1970, when I did the wiring, I did a kind of new age wiring. I have a motor gadget unit, which all the wiring from the switches come into the in, and all the wiring to the lights and consumables goes out of out. There is no fuses, everything is run through this little system and uh, main fuse and everything is pretty straightforward but this 1979 is running an old school original wiring with uh, little relays and switches i don't even know if this bike has fuses but i think it has those little solenoid switches which um, act like fuses and they pop out if um, something's amiss and um, I couldn't figure out why my uh, turn signals don't keep flashing and they're not supposed to. As I found out, you press a button, it flashes, you don't press the button, it stops flashing. So uh, it's pure and simple. So they work as supposed to. So they are flashing, you just have to have your little digit on the button. And um, so that's it. I'm going to... Uh, Put the light back in, tidy up the wiring, put the seat back in, battery is charged and um, take the bike on the road and visit the friend. Yay! Let's see this. So these are my little diodes. They allow electricity to go through it only in one direction. So, if I install this into my cable, which go from the right indicator into my idiot light, it won't allow the electricity to go further into my uh, left indicator. So, um, that way I can stop my both indicators flashing at the same time. We'll just solder this little thing in a cable here in the middle and um, figure out which direction to install it onto the motorbike and we should have a nice and easy solution to um, our idiot lights. The reason I am putting the lights, the idiot lights in there is that um, because the motorcycle has indicators I have to have a visual signal to the rider that the indicator is on doesn't matter that um, uh, you as a rider have to keep the button compressed and as soon as you turn the button off the light comes out it doesn't really matter well, I had the same issue with my 1970 uh, Sporty that when I um, took it to register um, the guy told me that um, my indicators have to have uh, idiot light and um, I'm saying to him I have a Abe hangers handlebars with the indicators inside the handlebars so they pretty much flash right into my face so there is no way I can have <laughs> mistaken that the indicators are not on but no no they had to be on so um, I went home soldered a bunch of cables together with the diodes and I um, soldered up these little concoctions of wires and um, got, got it connected to um, uh, my high beam light so uh, my little idiot light was flashing so that was fine and when the next morning he saw the idiot light very great it flashes with the indicators, move on. Happy days. Well, I think
think I have it all wrong. I have, I can't do the one. I have to start again. So if this is my indicator, this is my indicator, I have to do a two-way little Y wire with two diodes going into this line. Mm. Okay, start again. Okay, I have a little Y front. <laughs> Solar lamp. It goes from one indicator through a diode into my dash light and the other one goes through a second cable into the dash light and there is a diode in line which will stop uh, power going back into the other indicators so they both don't flash but one side now works the other side doesn't and I feel that um, it's either I cooked the diode or um, it's faulted so I'm gonna solder a new piece of wire new diode in here and give it another try uh, let's see okay after some necessary research because as I figured out I don't know everything surprise surprise I have found out how to um, test the diodes which you don't test a con continuity there is actually a setting in a multimeter which has a little uh, diode symbol in there duh so even in one way I don't know if you're gonna see this somewhat you see nothing nothing changes if I turn it the other way we have a reading so that's a current in volts going through so it goes in one way all of these read just fine so these ones these diodes are all good but if I test my other one nothing not one way then no the other way so what happened I just soldered this and uh, since then there is no reading does it kill does the heat kill the diode I don't know. I, I sold them before and it was fine. We have. We have. Reading but of zero. And this goes both ways, the same thing. So. This one's fried too. So, what I'm gonna do is just use my um, little banana clips uh, and uh, just clip fresh diodes into the place and see if the system will work without me soldering it and if it does then um, I'll just have to crimp it or do something like that some kind of cold fusing <laughs> at my work all right let's give it a test about the little diodes is working so something something in my little harnesses that I tried to solder out must have gone wrong and uh, when I apply heat they must fry the diode or something happens to the diode that it doesn't work so um, I'll have to figure out how to crimp it, those connections and um, so they are cold fused rather than heat fused so um, let's make something up so key on left indicator and the right's not blinking happy days right indicator and the dash is working and the left's not going I call that a perfection, a success if you may. I'm just gonna put it all together and I think now I can put the light fitting back in. Whoa! All oh, my electrics are pretty much figured out. 
Uh, we have indicators running, lights are running, dash lights are running, um, brake switches are working, and a new switch there. So um, everything's fine. All I'm gonna do is um, uh, I don't know if I want to take the exhausts off, but I'm just gonna get this a little sand and maybe a quick paint. Um, from what I can see, it doesn't look like the exhausts have been sealed, so I might take them off and give them a proper sand and um, give them a quick coat of black paint. So um, I know they are chrome, but I'm gonna change them later on anyway. So um, that's okay for now. Let's go for a ride. Right.